If you're anything like me, then you spend most of your spare time in front of one of these things, a desktop PC. And it's not just my spare time because I'm also a full-time YouTube creator. And so when I'm not editing 4K videos, I'm generally testing and benchmarking new hardware and new tech. And on the odd occasion I have a spare minute, I might fire up a bit of PUBG or Battlefield 5. And so having a powerful desktop PC is really important to me and makes my life a whole lot easier. There's obviously lots of components that go into making a PC, and it's only ever as fast as its slowest part. So if you've just spent upwards of a thousand pounds on a fancy new Nvidia RTX graphics card, for example, but then you pair it with a slow processor, then you're gonna get bottlenecks. So recently I upgraded my PC with one of these, the new Intel Core i9-9900K processor. It has eight cores, 16 threads, and can turbo boost up to a whopping five gigahertz and that's without any overclocking. It is about 500 pounds though, so it's definitely not cheap. Now this isn't a review video or me saying that everyone should rush out and buy an i9 processor because they are expensive and frankly for a lot of people they are going to be overkill. If you're just playing games, maybe at 1080p or 1440p, then an i5 would be a better option. But if you're gaming, streaming, editing and want the best performance, a higher end i7 or i9 would be ideal. In fact, while I am using the i9-9900K in here, I was using the i7-8700K, which is still a fantastic processor and arguably better value depending on what you need from it. And actually, Intel have been kind enough to provide me with an i7-8700K, a brand new one for me to give away to you guys in this video. So stay tuned to the end and I'll tell you how you can win. But since my whole work life revolves around this PC, I wanted to get the best performance possible for my 4K video editing, and of course on the side, a little bit of gaming. So when it comes to playing games, generally the clock speed is more important than the number of cores you have on a processor. Not that many games are optimized for more than two or four cores. So if you have an eight core chip, that's great for a lot of things, but you're not necessarily gonna get that much more performance in games. So for things like PUBG or Battlefield 5 or Anthem, whatever it is you're playing, having a higher clock speed will be more useful. And so the best thing about the i9 I'm using is you kind of get the best of both worlds. Eight cores and that five gigahertz turbo boost. And if you're a keen overclocker and have good cooling, you could pretty easily push that to 5.2. And while that may not have a significant impact on your frame rate, it will help prevent bottlenecks in your system and means you can get the most out of your graphics card. But unfortunately, I don't have as much time to play games as I used to, so more often than not, I'm looking at this screen instead. I use Adobe Premiere Pro for my editing. But whether you're video editing, maybe you're actually streaming the game as you're playing, or you're just doing more demanding multitasking, that's where the additional cores come in handy. And because Premiere Pro is optimized to make use of more cores, the timeline feels smoother and exports are faster. Across the board, from applying warp stabilizers, the frame rate I get on the main timeline, to the final export times in 4K, I found that the i9-9900K was around 20% faster than the i7-8700K. And so while that may not be a night and day difference, considering I use this all day, every day, the extra time saving because of the better performance does add up. And so that's why I upgraded to the i9, the combination of the cores, the clock speed, and the fact that it supports hyperthreading. But back to the giveaway, and as I say, Intel are providing a brand new i7-8700K processor. That's a six core, 12 thread chip, brand new, and it can be yours to win. All you have to do is click like and subscribe. It doesn't matter if you already subscribed, just make sure you are, and leave a comment. It can be about what computer you're using, what specs you have, what game you're playing, and in the next couple of weeks, I'll pick a winner at random. So best of luck, and big thanks to Intel. Also, while I still got you, uh, I get a lot of questions asking what my wallpaper is. So I will leave a link to this particular one in the description below. It's one of my favorite ultra wide wallpapers, but you'll also notice sometimes my wallpapers are moving, fancy moving ones. And that's because I'm using the wallpaper engine from Steam. Cost a couple of quid, put it in Steam. You can even get a version of that same wallpaper. And it looks like we got a bit of water down here and the lights change a bit. I also like this uh, aperture wallpaper. There's some cool space ones. That's completely unrelated to this video, but I just thought I'd chuck that in as well. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I do hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you next time right here on The Tech Chat.